Welcome to the introduction to my virtual learning program for schools from classes 8 to 12. Uh, I'm showing you today some of its amazing functions and Next, features. Uh, to watching the video, I'm sure uh, those who are not familiar with the virtual learning program before would be amazed to see its stunning features. Well, I'll be showing you mainly three features in this first part. Uh, the first, uh, how the teachers and students are involved in teaching and learning activities face-to-face -face online, like in live TV news program. Uh, secondly, uh, what activities students can do there. And the third, uh, how the software monitors and keeps the record of every activity of the students as well as teachers and uh, how it displays their performance report in an instance. Well, uh, let me start first uh, with how the teachers and students are engaged in the virtual classroom. When the teacher enters the virtual classroom, the writing board opens. Uh, then the teacher can start using different functions like opening the webcam and adjusting the sound for audio talk. Uh, picking up the uh, board markers with different colors uh, of his choice, and he starts writing on the board. <coughs> and uh, setting with the students individually or in a group as you can see here two functions are right and they, if the uh, uh, teacher wants to show pictures or view figures or read some lines from the textbooks or the reference Lastly, books he can show his desktop so and open the required materials he can also zoom in and out as required well, uh, they can engage here uh, interacting with each other like in the real physical classroom settings, uh, uh, sitting in their respective homes. And secondly, uh, now here, um, how the students do the homework activities. I'm showing you here uh, class 8 social studies activities as an example. You can see here uh, these units are based on national syllabus and the students can do all the activities here um, as uh, they do in their exercise books and notebooks in schools. Uh, now let me show you one of the chapter activities. One type of activities uh, is the objective questions uh, such as match the following, fill in the blanks, multiple choice, uh, true and false and many more other activities according to how the teacher designs the questions. Um, now, other types of questions are the writing questions based on each chapter and the students can write the answers here. And another type of activity is the project work or assignments which they can upload and submit. As you can see here, seven assignments have been submitted so far. Well, now, I'm going to show you the most important part, how the software keeps the record of every detail of what teachers and students do and how it displays the report. I'm starting with objective questions first. Uh, you can see here that this student attempted this chapter named our development reasons three times and uh, for the first attempt he got uh, 89 percent in the second attempt 93 percent and in the third uh, around 96 percent uh, you can see here these red crosses mean the answers attempted are wrong and the yellow color shown here uh, means uh, the answers are partially correct. Uh, the software also keeps the record of the time spent by the uh, student or teacher for each activity. As you can see here, the students spend 5 minutes for the first attempt, 11 minutes for the second and about 4 minutes um, for the third. And you can see another student here who opened this chapter uh, um, activity on 3rd October in the evening, but uh, he didn't attempt. Well, now let's look at uh, how many questions are correct and incorrect. We can do it just by clicking each of these attempts and uh, here we can have the complete review of the activities. Okay, now uh, about the writing activities. This student has attempted this writing activity twice. In the first attempt, he got uh, 53% uh, with the two answers incorrect and his second attempt has not been marked by the teacher yet because it says it requires grading and not graded yet. Uh, well, um, the student did it on the 3rd of October and it is uh, 25 October today. Uh, it's three weeks already and the teacher has not seen the student's homework yet. Okay, the students spent about 35 minutes for the first attempt and for the second about 12 minutes. Anyway, uh, let's look at the graded one and see uh, what feedback and the uh, mark the teacher has given for it. 
Hmm, okay, uh, this was the question and the this is the student's answer and the teacher awarded 4.5 marks out of 5 for this question with the comment. Well done! And uh, for the second question he awarded uh, 4 out of 5 with the comment. Very good! And the student has not done question number 3 and 4. Okay, that's why he got the red crosses for these two questions. So he did the remaining questions next time on the 3rd of October. Um, which have not been marked yet. Uh, that's all for today in this video. Um, in the second part of my video, I'll show you uh, uh, other details like uh, how the software maintains the grading and feedback system, uh, resolve publication, uh, how the seminars and uh, workshops are conducted in the virtual room, um, how the meetings and discussions are held with the staff members in the boardroom, uh, how the trainings are conducted for the teachers and how the appraisal for the staff is carried out uh, and how the software processes one year data with a random access to all activities parallelly and uh, uh, we also have the penalty methods uh, for the participants for ignoring the emails and messages and also how the software monitors uh, and shows every user's performance activities in the graphic description and if that doesn't blow your mind you have no emotions and that will be presented in the second part of my video and until then goodbye deep within each heart there lies a magic spark that lights the fire of our imagination and since the dawn of man the strength of just i can has brought together people of all nations.